The Question, Chapter 6, Part 6, Testimony Another element of understanding comes from looking to experts and asking, what do authorities say about this concept? What laws and maxims govern this concept? In the nature of mathematics, and in particular, arithmetic, students will find certain laws and rules that have been discovered through the ages, of which students are the beneficiaries. Here are the essential laws of mathematics. The laws of equality. 2 equals 2, 2 is less than 3, 2 is greater than 1, and 2 does not equal 3. Commutative laws for addition and multiplication x plus y equals y plus x. x times y equals y times x. Associative laws for addition and multiplication. x plus the quantity y plus z is equal to the quantity x plus y plus z. x times the quantity y times z is equal to the quantity x times y all times z. Distributed law. x times the quantity y plus z is equal to x times y plus x times z. x times the quantity y minus z is equal to x times y minus x times z. The identity laws. a plus 0 equals a. a minus 0 equals a. a times 1 equals a. And a divided by 1 equals a. As your student investigates the algorithms, procedures of math, the laws need to become second nature. As I discussed in the first few chapters, rote memorization rather than impeding creative thought actually forms the basis of understanding. The only way to be certain that your student understands these laws is for him to repeat them back to you aloud. Notice that in doing so, he is translating the symbolic language of mathematics into the English language. During the dialectic stage, Repeated practice translating mathematical equations from symbols to words and back again will cement the forms in your student's mind and solidify his understanding of mathematical concepts. To moderate this process, you simply need to ask a lot of questions using the common topics to guide you. Math laws are one form of testimony, but today's parents and teachers have access to many forms of authority as guides and resources. Parents who are nervous about teaching math can take encouragement from the knowledge that they do not have to approach math as solitary superheroes. One option is to find another parent or an older student who loves math and ask him to be a tutor and mentor for your student. If finances are an issue, see if you can work out an exchange. I know families who pay for math tutoring with firewood, home repairs, foreign language lessons, or technology training. If possible, don't just drop your student off at the door. Ask permission to sit in on the lessons and take this opportunity to educate yourself alongside your students. Doing so will accomplish two things. First, your child will see that you value math enough to learn it for yourself. Second, you will be better equipped to teach your student during the rest of the year. Other resources that are available to you at no additional cost are the glossary and index in the back of a math book. Teach your student to use these resources to find information about a concept he does not understand. Parents can model this habit for their students simply by being willing to say, I don't know the answer. Where can I go to find out? Learning to love math. Learning to ask good questions is essential to a classical education, but ultimately, the knowledge of math is its own end. Stratford 
Caldecott writes in Beauty for Truth's Sake, math is not to be valued for the power it gives us over nature or even for the moral improvement it may bring about in us. It is to be valued for its beauty. I know math because I love it. I love its author, its symmetry, its reliability, its mystery. Symmetry, for example, is one of the fundamental principles of beauty and is best recognized and understood through mathematics. The Fibonacci sequence, the powerful meaning and beauty of numbers like one, unity, two, diversity, three, harmony, and so on, help us to understand the universe in which we live and to see its magnificent beauty. I believe with Galileo that the universe stands continually open to our gaze, but it cannot be understood unless one first learns to comprehend the language and interpret the characters in which it is written. It is written in the language of mathematics, and its characters are triangles, circles, and other geometric figures, without which it is humanly impossible to understand a single word of it. Without these, one is wandering about in a dark, labyrinth. Usefulness is just the grace given to all who love anything intimately. I solve math equations because they balance, because they give us a mystery to talk about, and because I am a social creature who reflects our creator. I cannot stop talking about math because it is so beautiful. Learning to ask good questions using the five common topics helps students learn to think which in turn helps them to see beauty. In short, math studies allows us to know him and to make him known. And we'll pause here and continue with chapter seven in the next video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.